This week, I got two boxes of saws in from Japan. And I, no, I've got saws everywhere. This is unsold stock from an old style Japanese shop where this stock has been stuck up the back shelf for uh, ages. And when I say ages, I'm talking ages because literally decades, because all of these saws are from the era that came before the impulse hardening. Now a blade like this is not disposable, it can be resharpened. They, the edge doesn't last as long as a modern impulse disposable blade, but with very little effort and a l just a little bit of practice, you can get two, three, four sharpens out of one of these blades very easily. Now sharpening saws can be a little bit intimidating for people. I know I was like that, uh, especially Japanese saws. But what I found is it's not that hard. Just takes a little bit of practice. And when I say a little bit, I'm talking, you know, one or two goes. And then you can resharpen a blade like these ones three or four times before you need to do any serious work to it. And the serious work, work I'm talking about is maybe uh, resetting the teeth. Now with a modern saw set, which they use in Japan, that's not that hard either. And it's really then only once you've sharpened the saws uh, maybe a dozen times or more that that's when you need to do the full makeover of the retensioning of the blade and stuff. And that's what takes the serious, serious skill. That means that with a little bit of practice, a saw file, you can get a lot more value for money out of one of these resharpenable blades than you can with the disposable blades. Disposable blades are cool because you just use them and then you toss them, which isn't cool, but that's the modern way. Uh, at least they're recyclable, that's, so that's not such a bad thing. But you can, yeah, like, like you can get a lot of value out of these resharpenable re saws. And while there is a little bit of water damage on some of them, others, they're basically brand new. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be getting these up on eBay over the next uh, few days, week. Remember, my YouTube subscribers get an automatic 5% discount if you order directly. And I'm more than open to deals if you're wanting to buy a few of the time, especially on the postage. Posting one of these is a bit of an effort. Posting two is not really any extra effort at all. Three, four is a little bit more effort because of you know the way you've got to arrange things. But anyway, really open to deals on the on on the way on really making the postage as cheap as possible for combined lots. And yeah, if you want a bunch of these, I will. I'm very much open to offers and willing to do a deal. Um, I got them cheap. Happy to let you guys have them cheap. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for a series of videos of sharpening and saw restoration on some of the ones that are really, really bad. The ones that have got only cosmetic damage, I'm not going to bother restoring because they don't need it. Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye bye.